today let us see few factorization and expansion formulae. Let us begin with a simple one which is a plus b bracket square. Look at the diagram here, the sides of the square are a plus b and within it there are four different rectangles made out of which two are squares, one is off side A and another is off side B and the remaining two rectangles are each off sides A and B. So, if we find areas of all of these four pieces, they will be A square, B square, this is a rectangle, so we will have area A into B and the remaining rectangle is also with sides A and B, so is of area A into B. Now, as the given square is made up of these four pieces, the area of the given square will be addition of areas of these four pieces. Now, what is the side of the original big square? It is A plus B, right? So, area of the bigger square is A plus B bracket square. Now, we can write it as A plus B the whole square that is area of the complete figure is equal to area of this portion which is a square plus area of this rectangle as well as area of this one both equal a b. So, their addition will be equal to a b plus a b or twice a b and now area of the last square which is b square. Now, if we just add a b plus a b, we can write as a square plus 2 a b plus b square. So, this is a formula of expansion of a plus b the whole square. Now, let us try to expand a square minus b square. What do we mean by a square? It is area of a square with side A and B square is area of a square with side B, correct. So, when we say A square minus B square, actually we are subtracting area of a square with side B from area of a square with side A, correct. So, to demonstrate let us first have a square with side A. Now, let us draw a small square of side B inside the square. As we wish to find a square minus B square, it will be a square which is area of the complete figure minus B square means this area. So, we are actually interested in a square minus b square means area of this strip plus area of this vertical strip, right. Now, let us try to find out these areas. Since these two are rectangles, their areas will be length into breadth. So, what is the breadth of this rectangle as the total length is a and the side of this square is b, the remaining length will be a minus b, correct. This length we know is a. So, area of this rectangle is a into a minus b, correct. Now, area of this rectangle is once again length into breadth and what are the sides of this rectangle? Once again, 
the total length here is a, we subtract b from it. So, this length is once again a minus b and as we know this length is b, the same is length of the rectangle. So, area of rectangle is b into a minus b, correct. Therefore, a square that is area of the complete square minus b square area of this small square will be equal to addition of these two areas. So, we can write a square minus b square is equal to this area plus the another one which is a into a minus b plus b into a minus b as we have seen. Now, here it is easy to see that the term a minus b is common in both the terms. So, take it common and write it as a minus b in bracket a plus b, a is from the first term and b is from the second. So, we obtained a square minus b square is equal to a minus b into a plus b. Now, let us try to expand a minus b the whole square. As it suggests a minus b square represents area of a square with side a minus b. So, let us begin with a square whose side is a. Now, let us mark a length b on these two sides. Now, what is the remaining length? As the total length is a and the marked length here is b, the remaining length is a minus b. The same thing on this side, right? So, we have obtained a square with side a minus b, correct? And we are interested in finding area of the square, which is nothing but a minus b the whole square. Now, if we consider the complete figure whose area is a square, we are actually interested in just this much part. So, we do not need these two strips. So, let us consider area of the complete figure which is a square and try to remove these extra areas so as to get a minus b the whole square. Fine. Now, how to remove the areas of these two strips? These two strips are rectangular in shape. So, their areas are again length into breadth. What is the breadth of this rectangle? It is b and what is its length? It is a because this is a square with side a, correct. Same is the case for this rectangle as well. The breadth is b and the length is a. So, area of this complete rectangle as well as area of this complete rectangle is a into b which is a b, right. So, from the complete figure with area a square, if we remove this portion as well as the vertical portion, then there will be a problem that this much part with all the sides equal to b, that is it is a square with area b square is subtracted or removed twice. So, to get the area of this much portion which is a minus b the whole square, we have to subtract the areas of the two strips from the whole area and then add area of this portion once since it was subtracted twice once in this strip and once again in the vertical strip. 
right and we must subtract the area we must remove the area once not twice so we can write the a minus b square that is area of this square as a minus b the whole square is equal to area of complete figure which is a square minus area of these two strips right remember we are subtracting some part extra this is subtracted two times but do not worry we will add it once fine so area of this rectangle which is a into b and area of this rectangle which is once again a into b and as this area is subtracted twice let us add it once so that from the total area we have subtracted just these three areas once correct and now it is easy to see that the term a b appears twice so we can write it as a square minus 2 a b plus b square and hence we obtain a formula that a minus b the whole square is equal to a square minus 2 a b plus b square thank you now will you try to do something like this on your own try to give a geometric proof of a plus b into c plus d